I have a series of different things here to show you. First of all, it's my notebook. I purchased my notebook three years ago, uh, but I bought the top of the line because I knew that I'd want to keep it for at least five years. And that allows me to amortize the cost of my notebook over a five-year period. I'm currently running Ubuntu Linux on here. I like Ubuntu Linux. I like the philosophy of the organization. And I think they've come a long way in a very short period of time to creating a very good distribution. This is a little thin client. It only draws 10 watts of power. That's about one-sixth of a normal light bulb. And so you can leave your computer on all the time. And if you leave your computer on all the time, your computer becomes your telephone. It becomes your alarm clock. It becomes your TV recording uh, mechanism. It becomes your calendar. If you turn off your computer, it becomes a boat anchor and therefore is not useful to you. So you really want to have a computer that uses such a small amount of electricity that you can leave it on all the time. And finally, the last little thing I have here is something which is called the OpenMoco phone. This is a completely open phone in both hardware and software. We're going to have three different versions of Linux running on this to give people choice as to which one they want. They'll be able to have the Trolltech version of the green phone software running on here. They will be able to have the software that's created by OpenMoco itself. And they'll be able to have the Android stack, which is being done by Google. They will also have a choice of which GSM vendor they wish to use by using their own SIM cards, or they could use voice over IP and choose their own voice over IP provider. And this phone is currently a prototype, but it should be manufactured in large quantities starting in the March-April timeframe. So these are the types of things we want to give people, which is free and open choice as to how they use their software and their hardware.